hello hello welcome back to our channel and in this video we'll talk about new grasshopper features that come with rhino 8 beta version which has been released a few days ago so first let's say we have a rhino file with multiple layers so if you want to know how to model this you can watch our tutorial here and let's say I want to take this Rhino file and I want to import in Rhino 8 beta version and also in Grasshopper. So once we open Rhino and Grasshopper, you will find new uh, tab inside Grasshopper, which is called Rhino. So this tab contains seven panels and 79 components. So all these 79 components are new and comes with Rhino 8. So then I'm going to uh, click on the content and I will choose import content. So I need to find the location of Rhino file and I need to place here. So I will type in the panel file location and if I zoom in here, we get the message use the import button to effectively import. So I imported uh, the geometry inside Grasshopper, not in Rhino. Uh, so you can see here, we don't have any, we don't have any geometry, we don't have any layers. But if I turn on this component, you can see here the geometry that we imported from another file. Okay. And what we get here, we get imported objects. So all the, all the geometry, here we get all the layers from the Rhino file as well. Maybe I can use panel to see what we have inside. So all the layers, then all the line types, all the hatches, all the annotation styles, material and uh, block definitions. We don't have any materials and block definition that Rhino file. That's why uh, the list is empty. Okay. so. Let's focus now on imported objects. Let's say I want to uh, bake all the layers, all the annotation styles, so everything, uh, all geometries. I want to bake in. Oh, uh, I want to bake, and I, I want to get this in Rhino. So simply, you can just click here and click bake. What we get? It will load a few seconds. And I, if I turn this on, you can see that all the geometries, all the layers, we uh, managed to import into new uh, Rhino file. Okay, now let's say I want to uh, import only geometries that are shown in the, in the file, in the Rhino file, and also all the layers that are turned on. So for instance, uh, these layers are, are turned on, but the geometries is hidden. So if I uh, take a look hidden geometry, you can see that we also managed to import into new Rhino file hidden geometry, but I don't want that, let's say. And I don't want to import hidden layer. So what, how we can do that? I will uh, undo everything. And let's say we didn't bake and import any geometry so far. I will go here to model imported objects and once again let's open Rhino tab and I'm going to find here model objects. If I uh, connect imported objects with the model objects we get here the same completely the same uh, result but now uh, we are uh, facing for the first time uh, pass through components. Uh, they have uh, the same number of inputs and outputs. And you can, uh, let's say, rewrite some inputs or you can modify based on the input, you can modify outputs. Uh, let's, I, I will give you a simple example here. We didn't define any inputs right here, but uh, all these uh, model objects have have their layer, have their uh, visibility attributes. 
uh, their display uh, attributes, um, drafting attributes, renderer attributes, let's say. Okay. And they are defined here. So for instance, let's have a look at uh, these objects. We can see what type of geometry it is. So it's, let's say, uh, uh, geometry in the index zero. It's closed bureau app. It is placed in the layer 3D still. And also it has own visibility attributes. I will talk about that later. But if I want to change, well, let's say layer of all of this, we can use that uh, with the inputs. So instead of using all the layers from the um, Rhino file that we imported, we can create a new layer, let's say my layer, and I can uh, define it here, which means all geometry uh, are placed into a new layer with the name my layer. And we can see it here. So if I bake this one, they will be placed into my layer. If I unplug this one and bake once again, they will be placed in the same layers as Rhino initial file. Okay, I'm going to undo this once again. Now I think it's a perfect time to explain how bake content works. So there is component uh, uh, here, bake content. And let's say I want to uh, bake this geometry. So instead of using right click and bake, uh, simply there is a component bake content and we can click here update. If I bake geometry, not model objects, they will not be uh, baked uh, as in the same layer as our Rhino file, but they will be baked into layer grasshopper. Okay. But uh, I, I think I'm going to undo this, but if I bake model objects, they will be uh, bake into same uh, layer as they're they are defined here. All right, if you want to, I will turn this off. If you want to change layer, once again, what I did previously, I place it here in the layer and I click update. You can see that the layers that we had disappeared and all the geometry appeared into new uh, a layer with the name my layer. Okay. This component um, has also function to add uh, to add a new input. And here we can set true or false. So we can either use a button so this is the same as we had previously, but if I use uh, boolean toggle and I set to true, so this will be always true. So if I un uh, and if I unplug this one, it will bake as we had previously. And if I connect, it will automatically update and bake once again. All right, let's go back here and uh, let's bake uh, the geometry that are visible in the Rhino file that we have here. And also their layer is also uh, shown. So how we can define, how we can know that. Uh, for that, I will use component visibility, visibility attributes, and we can check here. So I will take visibility attributes and I place here and we get true and false if that layer is hidden. If that layer is hidden, we get false. Now let's say I use cal pattern. I will take the pattern if the layer is hidden and I take this model objects. So here we can see all the objects that are hidden in the original Rhino file. If I use invert, we'll get all the objects that are shown in the original Rhino file. All right. But we can also check if that layer is 
uh, turn it on and off that we can uh, see with the component that is called model layer this is very similar with the model object but here we can define um, layer name we can um, you know turn on and off the layer we can change uh, also if they are locked or not their color uh, material line type print color and also print width okay if I take these layers so all the model layers and connect here we know if that layer is hidden or not here we get the null because I defined my layer so these are not model layers anymore but if I unplug this one we get model layers and we get uh, attributes if they're you know uh, hidden or not so I will use component gate not and I want to see only layers that are shown and also a geometry that is not hidden if I take these two uh, boolean values and I use um, gate and this one and I place here you can see this pattern is inverted and in the Rhino viewport we see the geometries that are uh, hidden or if uh, they're placed in the layer which is turned on turned off sorry if I invert this pattern we get a geometry okay now we get 487 uh, model uh, model objects and we manage to bake them and also we get all the layers that are turned on in the original Rhino file now I'm going to show you how we can use uh, model layer component to uh, change uh, layer attributes inside uh, Rhino file so I'm going to type layer model and let's have a look what we have here in the L input we need to place a model layer in the N we need to place layer name then we can define if you want to hide or not if you want to lock or not a certain layer if you want to change display color material line weight print color and print width okay so if we right click here we can select a layer inside a rhino file so let's say i will select 3d walls In the output now we get the display color if they are locked if they are uh, hidden their name and a uh, model layer these guys we get you know model uh, default material line weight continuous um, print color and uh, line type let's have a look if I set here true nothing happened right but if I use big content this one and I take the layer click update now it will update the layer and uh, the geometry uh, um, sorry the layer is turned off what I like to do uh, I like to add um, second input and I like to add true so we don't need to two times click on true here we can turn on and off layer then we can let's say change the color so here we can change the color of the layer once again hide then what we can also do here we know that uh, we pick 3d walls if I um, 
add a name here let's say exterior walls and if I place in the N take a look here so I'm going to turn off we get the name walls but if I connect that wall will change the name and it will call exterior walls okay so with this component we can change the uh, layer attributes what we can also do instead of uh, uh, right click and picking the layer we can use component let me find here uh, query model layers and we can type the name let's say walls here and now I will delete this one or maybe I can just turn this off place it here we don't get any result it's null and you can see here because we don't have any uh, layer with the name walls I mean we need to place here full name but if I use asterisk here it will include everything so all the letters or all the characters before the word uh, wall started so no matter what is in front it will select uh, the layers and you can see here that we get the result model layer 3d walls here okay and using uh, this this guy we can change uh, on the same way we can use the uh, this component all right now I'm going to show you how we can take a geometry which is placed on a certain layer and how we can change its uh, display mode so uh, I will use first um, filter uh, filter content and I will take uh, take this geometry so I will delete this one I'm going to update uh, update and bake once again to uh, place it back on the default color let's turn this off okay uh, sorry I mean if I turn this off then uh, we I mean if I set to false then we um, removed uh, and we delete all the uh, layers and all the geometry so if I uh, you know remove this guy this is what we need and now we need to set filter so I will use filter contains contains text filter and uh, if I go right click on the on the uh, key I will select here a uh, model layer and I will uh, click on the name not full name full name means 3d then colon colon and then the name but I will just use the name okay and I will type let's say walls or we can just type wall it will uh, find the layer that we need and also if we let's say type here uh, all um, lowercase will not get any result it will get null but if I use here false for the um, case sensitive matching um, still we will get we'll get false but why because we need to use a layer not model geometry so I will use model layer and then in the layer I will try to find all the geometries that are placed inside 3d walls okay and after that um, I will just take first one because I just need the name of the layer and now I will uh, use um, 
ID, so content details. In the P, we get a full layer name and there is component which can find the objects based on the layer. So it will select the, uh, it will select the geometries that are placed on a certain layer that we that we uh, place in the input. So I will type objects uh, query model objects. Okay. If we don't you know set anything, it will select all the geometries that we have in Rhino. But if I place name of the layer, so we need to place full name of the layer. It will select only a geometry which is placed in the 3D walls. All right, I will turn this off. And now I will use model object. So I'll take model object, turn this off. And let's focus now on the display attributes. So we need to change the display attributes in order to change display mode. So I will use a, a component display attributes and I will connect here. So we can set here uh, display color, uh, display mode uh, and ISO curve density. I didn't use honestly this, this one. Uh, let's use display color. And I will connect here. So we can set color swatch and we can change the geometry, not layer. Let's have a look. If I take this one here, let's bake. Click here. You can see that I changed the color of the object, but you can see a uh, color of the layer stay the same. I just changed the color of the object and we can define it here. Uh, if we set to zero, it will change the, it will be based on the layer. So if I update, no matter what we place here, it will take the uh, um, color of the, of the layer, 3D walls. If I set to one, then it will change to, uh, to the uh, color that we define here because uh, number one means uh, the display color of the object. We can also set by material or by parent. All right, but what I want to show you here is uh, display modes. So right click and we can pick different uh, display mode. I have just a few of these. Let's say wireframe. Here we set object, all right. And when I click update, it will change the color and it will also change uh, display mode to wireframe. Let's say we set to ghosted, update, then it will change to ghosted uh, display mode. If I set to by layer, it will still be ghosted, but uh, the color will uh, stay as the color of the layer. All right, this is one method how we can do that. Another method is to use um, group content. So uh, let's move this down. Uh, and okay, and we can uh, take all the you know model objects and connect inside. Uh, group content and here we can define grouping criteria so let's i want uh, let's say i want to group right now we have a single list you can see here single list with 487 uh, different type of geometries but if i want to create a data structure and i want to group them based on the let's say layer model object layer let's say full name Okay, what we get here, we get data tree with seven branches. Why? Because we have seven different layers. We can uh, take a look here. 
So geometry that is placed in the branch zero, this 57 uh, items, they're placed in the layer 3D columns. Let's check this one. I will use uh, explode three, match outputs. And if I use data, here we can select only uh, columns. Here we have doors, floors, um, then glass, stairs, uh, steel, and walls. Okay. This is how we can select on a different way objects based on a certain layer. All right, and uh, if I take uh, the data branch six, where are the walls? Uh, here we can select it. Uh, just one thing, um, here we get um, update for the bake and I want to use that geometry. So I want to be connected in order uh, to avoid overlapping geometries. Uh, okay. Uh, just to check do we have uh, okay we don't have any uh, duplicated geometry and I'm going to turn off this one I will turn off this one as well and if I take the geometry place it here we already set here let's say to our frame update and we can change that display mode of the layer what we can also do we can use layer model so Oh, let's check we can take this one layer and connect with the layer uh, model and we can use toggle false actually we can set true false for the uh, hidden geometry if I set to true and I create once again model object connect with the layer connect with object and if I update this one, we can turn off only that layer. We can, you know, change their color, change their visibility, their display mode. So you will get, uh, you know, infinite amount of possibilities if you interconnect all these components. I'm not sure is this the best way of doing this. Um, you know because I'm still uh, testing out and if you have you know better you know workflow feel free to write in the comments down below there are two more things that I want to show you the first thing is um, how we can isolate a certain layer so let's uh, combine filter content and uh, group content so let's take this these guys so let's rename this and I will type uh, stairs and I don't want to select uh, uh, filter criteria for the content that must contain stairs but it should be opposite so let's go here to content and I will use um, where it is logical not filter so I will connect it here and now this I will place so we get all the layers except uh, layer stairs I will use once again group content so we uh, group let's see what we get here all right it's already set uh, by default what we need and I will let's have a look here I'm going to select each of these layers. So in the branch zero, we get all the columns, all the layers columns in the branch one, doors. In the branch two, uh, we get floors. So if we extract only the first item, we get the list of all the layers except stairs. I'm going to flatten the list. And now I will use layer model so I will take I will, co I will connect with the layer and I will set boolean true 
inside um, hidden uh, input and if I use big let's close this one I'm going to update this once again to default and let's see what we get if I update you can see only a geometry that is placed in the layer stairs is visible we can change you know here let's type steel here we get some some error full name text is not defined if we go here model layer name update okay i know what is the problem because we didn't update and uh, because um, previously we had only uh, turned on stairs layer but once i you know turn off all the layers except steel then also stairs is turned off but we didn't turn on steel so we need to update this guy and now we can uh, turn off all the layers and we can go back here to uh, default uh, default settings the last thing that they want to show you is how to create exploded geometry using new features so here in the group content output c we get all the geometries uh, placed in a different branch based on uh, their layer so uh, we can use uh, three statistics and we can see how many uh, different uh, branches we have so it is placed in the c and we can create a series and that uh, series so we will get uh, seven different values and the spacing between them can be let's say 10 and I will use them as uh, to create um, a Z vector so I'm going to um craft it and if i use move we can select the geometry that you want to move and here we get uh, the uh, vector and we can you know create exploded we can use this to create exploded diagram and if i bake this one let's have a look they are baked on grasshopper layer but we don't want that I want to bake them on a new uh, set of layers based on these uh, names so uh, I will delete this one and I'm going to undo okay so I will use model object and let's have a look we get null for each layer so the layer is not defined why because here we used a model extrusion well, I mean we use uh, content from the um, C output of the group content component and uh, these layers are not defined how we can define these layers i will use uh, model layer and i will connect with this one and now we can find these layers if i want to place in the same layer uh, we can uh, we can bake these guys and there will be placed in the same layer as we have here but let's say I want to place them on the parent layer and diagram and all the sub layers will have the same name as we have here so how we can um, do that let's take this input name and here we have uh, the list of uh, layer names and I want to 
um, you know, take everything after the second column col character. So I will use split, um, text split, and I want to use double column to split the characters. And let's see what we have here. I will extract only item with index 2. So we get not full name, but just the uh, name of the sub layers. And I want to add parent um, layer to this. After this, we're going to use concatenate. And here we'll define a parent layer um, diagram. Place it here. But I don't want to use um, this layer so I will turn this off I mean I will unplug this one and I want to create new layers if I create new layers we get here their names and if I update they will be placed in the new layer diagram but they're all black. So if I want to take the same display color as these guys here, we need to use uh, another model layer. So I will take these ones and I will take their display color. If I update, they will be placed uh, on, the, on the separate parent layer and diagram but with the same colors corresponding to the color of the sub layers inside 3d uh, parent layer so we can turn this off and we can get exploded geometry separated into different layers as you can see we have infinite amount of possibilities how we can combine all these components once again as i said write down in the comments down below if you have you know better workflow or if you have any suggestion how we can improve uh, this uh, workflow and see you in the next video take care